50 feet soon. If you fell down here, you're definitely dying. I'm gonna drop my worm deep in this tunnel. Oh, oh, the I got him. Oh my god, he's getting trolling. He got hot. That was the craziest buzzbait catch I've ever seen in my life. I'm abandoning ship. I'm abandoning ship. Screw you guys, dude. Alright, here we go. There you go. You got this. Alright, can we count that? One, two, three. Ah! Welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode, folks. We're coming at you live from beautiful southeast Alabama. Mm. Sun's shining, birds chirping. We got a wild one rod on an airplane right now. We gotta o pick him up. Only one rod would get his original flight delayed which was gonna make him miss his flight here because you have to take three planes to get here because we're so rural. You know what was crazy about that? It wasn't even a delay, it was a misconnect. Have you ever heard of that? No. Because I hadn't either. No. So he missed his connect, he's flying in a day late. There's only one thing on the itinerary today and that's to try to get on some big fish but we have to pick up one rod first. We gotta get the man. We gotta, we gotta get it. the man. We gotta pick him up. So, with well, that said, let's head to the airport. Dude, all I'm gonna say is this weather feels amazing. What's the plan for today? I just figured since your flights got all messed up, yeah. you got planes delayed, planes canceled, I feel like a guy like you putting a big bass in your hands, that'd probably improve your mood some, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I was honestly pretty pissed. I was supposed to fly in yesterday afternoon, got a misconnection. Bro, this airport's so small, they only had one flight going out that entire day. I so I had to wake, I literally woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, oh. got the earliest flight out here. I mean, it's pretty early, we got all day. I'd love to catch a big bass. All right, well hey, we got Red Bulls in the cooler for you, Mike. We got some waters. Let's go to the lake. Sounds good. I've never been anywhere close to this part of Alabama. Let's see uh, what it has to offer. Made it to the lake. It's actually a beautiful morning right now. We're getting a little bit of overcast conditions. I think the bass bite is going to be hot. Hey, we don't get much time. I love you. First thing you do when you get to the lake, unzip the bag. We gotta check the water temp right here. That's key. That's gonna let us know whether these bass are in pre-spawn, spawn, or post-spawn conditions. I have no clue what the temp's been, but we're about to find out. I guess 75, 76, we are dealing with, oh my gosh, it's even warmer. 70, wait, 70, 79, 78, 79. 79 degree water temp. All right, that's post spawn. These fish are gonna be hungry. They just uh, did the deed, had a little mating action going on. They're gonna wanna feed up. It's gonna be our job to find the biggest one in the whole dang pond. Boys, I think I know what we should throw. You ever hear the saying, match the hatch? Check this out, right here. Right here in the water for us. Oh yeah, whoa, look at this. We've got a fresh crawfish. Now is this a, is this a molted skeleton? I think it, I think this is a molt. Probably. Yeah, so right here we got a little bit of, a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown. Why don't we see what color I'm throwing today? Ooh, what do you know? We got the flaming hot. It's gonna show up in this slightly stained water. I think I'm looking pretty good. Uh, I don't think we've even announced it yet, but we're gonna be doing a 1v1v1 Big bass challenge. Straight up, whoever catches the biggest bass wins. The loser is gonna suffer some type of consequence. Maybe they'll have to eat this. And guys, don't forget to head to googansquad.com. The spring apparel is out now, and we have some new shirts dropping this summer. Use your favorite creative code for an extra 10% off. Stay cool, look fresh, get that drip going. All right, guys, the challenge is simple, all right? We are going for big largemouth bass today. That's it, that's the only thing on the menu. This is a trophy bass lake. There are big fish here. Now, the caveat is, the smallest fish caught today by the, by the angler who catches him, mm -hmm. the punishment will be, you have to eat the spiciest Mexican cuisine in my small town of Alabama. Oh, and we can get pretty spicy down here. Mm. How's that sound? I'm, I'm down, about it. Hey, I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah. yeah. And you I guys, hate spice. You guys both were just doing the same thing. It's like, ah, oh, man. I hate spice. Oh. I hate spice. But I'm not going to lose, so it don't even matter. It's what matters. Like the confidence? Now, I have a slight advantage. I've fished here a million times more than you guys have. <laughs> but I'm just going to not mention that. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Fire that murk up, dog. I ain't eating nothing hot today, boys. It ain't going to happen. You got Florida's best fishermen in the state of Alabama. 
Y'all better get with it. <laughs> we got the new Guggen Gold Reel. Like the new Baitcaster in the left hand, yeah, too. Yeah. Mike's, though, we got to get it dialed in because I want to backlash the stuff. If I backlash it, I'm just going to give it back to them backlash. I'm not going to fix it. Wait, did you do it your first time handling a Guggen Reel? I've never had one. Really? Never. Bro, you're in for a treat. And do you know about it? No. It actually has, look, let me let me show you. Please let me do. give you a little give rundown. Give me a crash course real Let me quick. give you a little rundown. This is the Gold Series, as you know. Okay. So, first up, over 20 pounds of drag. Oh 20 my 20 pounds. Gosh. There ain't nothing in Florida that can mess you up with 20 no, pounds of drag. No. And you know what I love? Look at these, look at these Concord handles. Yeah, right the here. topographic. I like that. And the grip on them is really good. You got good slippery too. hands, sweaty hands in the summer. You'll never slip setting the hook. I like that. Okay? And you actually have two ways to control the braking. So okay. of course you have your tension knob, which yeah. every reel has. But then you have the magnetic controls right okay. here. And then boom, you can open this up, the side plate, pop it open, and let's see what we got inside. Uh-oh. 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 Centrifugal pins oh, as well. Oh, that is insane. The design on that's crazy. Yeah. Attention to detail. So, no matter how you like the cast, you can get these dialed in to make your perfect cast every single time Dude, and not backlash. Sick. All right? I never you guys should buy one of these too. Thank you, one ride. GuggenSquad.com. Oh, yes, All right, boys, we're going to head to the backside of this lake because we did a little deep water searching just to see if the fish were kind of scattered deep. Looks like they're not yet. So let's head a little bit more shallow. Let's find some grass. Let's find the main channel creek bed on this lake. I think we'll have a little bit more luck. Now, boys, there is one bait I have never not caught a fish on within the first 15 minutes of fishing it. Set it right here. Oh. Squad bumper, half an ounce, this exact color right here. Perfect conditions for the same water. Yeah. Yeah. This water, water yeah. clarity, that'd be perfect. It's been tough fishing. I mean, we are in a juicy lake. The bite's a little tough. The bass might be a little tired from spawning. I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna figure them out. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna be the one to get fish number one of the day. So, oh! Come oh, on, baby! Oh, the away. bumper! The bumper! Does not fail! Does not fail! It's not huge! No. Not huge, but it is. it will put me in the lead here! Oh, dude, that's a nice Woo! fish! Get the boat! Oh! Oh! Yes, sir! Oh! No, oh, we gotta win! We gotta win! Hey, chill! Ah! Ah! I got it! I got it! Woo! Oh, no! Stop! Dude, these, these fish are out of control here! Woo! We ain't eating anything spicy today, boys. And yeah. ah! Now, by the way, this was already, that's not for me. That was already there. I don't know who that's from. Ooh, fish number one in the Alabama send. The bumper. Oh, did I Alabama, say? Welcome to Alabama, buddy. Welcome to Alabama. Thank you, thank you. Fifth, within 15 minutes, guys, if you don't have yourself a bumper, half ounce is my favorite size, get yourself one. Stained water, windy conditions, above grass, this will not let you down. Now, who has a scale for me? Ounces? Pounds and, okay. Pounds and ounces, two pounds, two ounces. Okay. That's reasonable. Okay. Just over two pounds. That puts me in the lead. Now I'm gonna be honest, guys, this is probably not gonna win. I'm just praying this is enough so that uh, I don't lose. See you, buddy. Oh. Woo! Feels good to be on the board. I was fishing a whopping flopper off the beach. I had a 40, probably about a 40. Come cent. on. Oh, Lojo's on. Oh, that feels Oh, decent. that looks big. That's oh, oh, dude, I see, that, I see them pulling. Take it. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, that's serious. No, that's that's decent. Me. That's decent. Hey, that ain't beating me though. That ain't putting you in the lead. I don't have to win, Mike. I just have to not lose. <laughs> it's true. That is Woo. true. Okay, no, I, no. I thought it was a much bigger fish because it was a grande clutch. And when he first hit it, he just, it was like a brick. You know that hook set where the fish just doesn't move for a second? That big old grande clutch, tiny little bass. Not going to beat Mike's number for sure. What was that, 2-2? Two, 2-2. Two? Two, two. Here we go. One three. You call it. One three. Nice. So a two two and a one, one three. three. All right, healthy little fish though. Tummied up. Okay. I pe I appreciate the eat. I mean, if he's eating bait this big, he's gonna be okay. Yeah, we should probably just call him and tell him we got a guy who really likes spicy food, and they should <laughs> really not hold back. Well, that's all right, cause I'm gonna catch a six before the day's over. Matter of fact, it's gonna be a six three. Ooh, calling it, huh? Yep. I might catch a 6 9 in that case. be that guy. Oh, he's on! He's there on! Go. Oh, yeah! Oh, good oh, fish! Oh, that's a good, good one! Fish. That's gonna it's take the lead! Oh, here he comes! Oh. 
Go miss him! Oh, oh my god! Dude, what did I just say? The freaking stud, man. Dude, Come here! that fish. You sure did. Always. Ooh, boy. Dude, that one's beat up on the side, too. I don't know what's up with these yeah, fish. That post spawn just yeah. tore up or something? Yeah. We're gonna pluck man. I ain't eating no spicy food tonight, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, bro, if you gave me another chance, I was finna send him to the moon. Was he up shallow? Yeah. I just let it sit. And I, and like, I let it sit for like two or three seconds. And then uh, probably two two cranks. Like I say, in slack line and uh, swimming the blazing worm. That's a thick fish right there, dude. Look at that. That might go at three and a little bit of change. That's a good one. That's a YouTube six, though. I, I think that's a three and a half. For sure. Three, four. Yeah. Three, four, baby. Boom, three and a quarter. Three, four. Nice thick with it, too. Look at that football. That's how I like my ladies. Thick, you know what I'm saying? Whoa! Peace, little mama. Okay, I'm not panicking yet. We're, we're just now coming upon the area that I feel the most confidence in the lake anyways. And I, honestly, I'm glad Yak caught that fish because he had missed a couple fish prior. And I want to beat somebody. I don't want to humiliate them, you know? But now everybody's at least caught a fish. So now the cream can really rise to the top in this challenge. Uh, we got this dam area right here. Uh, let's, oh, 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 getting a little we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You know what, I might just check out people we're dealing with right here. Whoa, oh, that's oh my feet. goodness. Woo! Dude, that's like 50 feet. Dude, if you fell down here, you're definitely dying. I'm gonna drop my worm deep in this tunnel. Woo! Oh, oh my that's, God. Okay. That's, uh, it's half an inch deep down the tunnel. That's no good. Dude, this is crazy. You guys see this? Yeah, that's, that's not going to work out too good. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. Oh, my God. We tried. Dude. You would so Dude. die if you fell yeah, in there. Get yeah, a, get a shot of that, Jerry. If you fell down in that, that's instant death. Oh, I mean, I'm not remember. Uh, is it a lizard, lizard on it? Yeah. Lizard on it? That was yeah. another reason why I didn't want to push back here, but we might as well try. Yeah, that works shot. And now that we got oh, clouds. Oh, 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 throw them on me! I got a fish! Oh my god, he's getting yeah. trolling! He got hot! Oh, oh my god! You're kidding! You're he's trolling! 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 Dude, my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's not bad. Dude, this guy is freaking stuck. You may have just upgraded a little bit. From... Eh, probably not, but hey, that, that's pretty ridiculous. He's blind in one eye. That's, that's why. why he hit that thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he don't know what he's doing. How fast were we going? I mean, we were idling like five, six miles yeah. an hour. That buzz bait was moving. It was moving. Yeah. <laughs> that is epic. I was not like, dude, I kind of put this on as a joke, guys, because nothing out there. I'm trying to throw the kitchen sink at him, but we actually got bit. <laughs> on the Hummer, on a very, we've been out for like three hours. That's, this is my second bite of the entire day. Lojo has one bite, TJ's has like four bites. It's been extremely difficult. Not really sure what's going on. We're trying to go back to this creek right here. This is our pretty much Hail Mary attempt, but uh, maybe there's something to be said about idling with the buzz bait at five or six miles an hour. I've never done that before. <laughs> Weird. This is not gonna be an upgrade, but uh, we'll go ahead and give this guy a good release. Whoop. Oh, he's feisty, dude. That he just feisty. went from one side of the lake yeah. to the other by the time you reeled him in. That was the craziest buzz bait catch I've ever seen in my life. We decided to throw an ultimate Hail Mary here and push super far back in this creek. It gets pretty skinny, but we do have some topwire lures tied on. The pattern has just been unfigure outable. I mean, we have thrown everything you could throw. And some, some things are working, but then they don't work consistently, so you can't really build a pattern. It's a very odd day to be fishing. Watch out for wasp nests too. Oh God, why'd you do that to me? Oh. Holy shit, bro. Oh. Are we getting back here? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea, my guy. Just stay calm, Mike. Oh. Dude, we're not getting... <laughs> we went oh. as far as we could go, boys. And it wasn't that far. I'm abandoning ship. I'm abandoning ship. Screw you guys, dude. My God. Ah. Come push me out. I'm not stuck. You guys might be stuck. I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I'm about to catch a fish oh. out of here. Yeah, watch. Woo! I'm feeling pretty good over here, boys. I mean, if you ain't fishing like this, are you really fishing? Look at all this chocolate ice cream I'm churning up back here. <laughs> that. Well, 
Mike, since you were so quick to abandon ship, I think we should just leave you. <laughs> you didn't even try to stay with the group. This is a tricky jump because I got to land, but I don't want to roll too far forward. All right, here we go. There you go. You got this. All right, give me a countdown. One, two, three. Ah! There it is. Right. Woo! Like a ninja. Yes, sir. I knew you could do it. Jumping to get winner. Yeah. Well, somehow I lost the 1v1v1 challenge in my home lake. <laughs> neither one of these guys have fished here before. So that's about as embarrassing as it gets. But it's lunchtime, boys. And it is. for you guys, that means a lovely, finely prepared Mexican meal. For myself, it means the spiciest thing on the menu, I'm, mm. I'm guessing. Oh, we finna hook you up. Woo! We finna hook you up. Hope you like spicy. Mm. Do you like spicy, Lojo? I do, but I have a feeling this is going to cross the line into spicy that you don't like. Oh, we're going to do some line crossing. We're going to do some line crossing. Question. So we had a little bet going. Get out of here. Folks. And our friend here lost, so he's now going to have to eat the spiciest thing on your menu. Do you have anything really spicy? Or if it's even not on the menu and you can extra special spicy sauce. We got our like homemade sauce. Is that oh, pretty hot? It's pretty hot. Oh, okay. That's, pretty hot. Uh, so that's what we need. We're gonna, that's what we need. I don't know. What, what do you say? It was like a homemade. Oh, homemade. Homemade, so homemade habanero. 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 Habaneros are really spicy. I have a feeling they keep all the seeds in. Yeah. I think oh. this thing is gonna. He said homemade and not on the menu. Not on the menu. Yeah. 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 Dude, so I don't know if I'm excited. Habanero is good, but. Homemade habanero filled with seeds yeah, in it. sauce form, like liquid Ooh, form. Yeah. You're gonna be feeling that in every oh. pore in your mouth. Oh, oh my god, you know for a fact that's gonna be hot. Yeah, there's no question about that. That that's. <sighs> Thank you very much. Oh, the tall boy. Yes, sir. Look at you over there. Celebrating my victory. Yeah. Well, I didn't get, I didn't win, but I didn't lose. <laughs> Celebrating yeah. that. Right. Okay. Mike's over there with a freaking 32 ounce tall boy. All right. I'm just gonna load it up. Oh, my oh I respect that, Lojo. I'm not scared. I respect that. Mike, you've eaten some spicy stuff, so I feel like I have to match your level of intensity. Oh, he did it. He did. He went all in for the heat. Mm. Oh, I think he's feeling it. I think it's insta feeling it. How we how we feeling it, dude? Does it, it have a spice level? Got some spice to it? Got some kick? Very spicy. You're doing pretty good. <coughs> oh wow! Whoa. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. It's in the throat now. Wow. Oh, he's, he's dousing it down. You get some get some fluid in there. You get, get some cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Yeah, there. cheese sauce definitely will help. Negate it. <laughs> uh. I just smelled it and it burnt my nose. Oh god, cheese sauce is hot. <laughs> mm. Okay. And I know, Luke, you're a tough guy, so I know you're not going to be like on the ground rolling, even though it's super hot. You you can you can handle some pain. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, smell it. Like gives you a whip of that. It burns the nostrils. Ooh. Yeah. I think right. I, I see some seeds in here too. I no, legit my, see seeds. My tongue is on fire. Like this is what salsa looks like with spice, and this is what this stuff looks like. Look at it's that. It's just like concentrated. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is running a little bit. Get away from me. Mm. Yeah. The nose starts to run. Lojo is probably gonna take a couple minutes to recover. He was a he took that really really well. That that was definitely some secret spicy sauce he brought out to us. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out all the new spring apparel, new shirts dropping, goofyclaw.com. Use your favorite creator's code for an additional 10% off. This was video one, day one of the Alabama Send. Look out for more, it's gonna be epic. See ya.